Hello, today I will be showing you the difference between creating a manual counter and using the enumerate function while running a for loop. So in our example here, we have this list that's created from different fruits. And so if we wanted to run a for loop through this list, what we would do is for x in fruit, print x. And so when we run this function, you can see that it ran each of our different fruits in this list. But now let's say we wanted to add a counter that basically gave us the place where each of these fruits are in the list. What we would do now is we would make the object counter and we would equal that to zero. And then we would change our print statement to include the counter. So we're going to change this to an F string. We're going to add our counter and then we're going to add X, which is the fruit in the list. Next, what we're going to do is every time this loop runs, we're going to add one to the counter. So how it's going to go is for X in fruit, it's going to print the counter value and then what then the X, which is the fruit. And then once we get down here, it's going to add one to the counter. So next time it runs, the counter would be equal to one, so on and so forth. And so now let's go ahead and run this. You will see that now the counter is at the beginning of this for loop whenever we run it. But there is a simpler way that you can do this. So let's go ahead and comment this out. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use the enumerate function. So it's very similar, um, but here we go. So it would be for num x in enumerate fruit. we will print an F statement like last time, except this time instead of the counter, we're gonna use num, and then X will remain the same. And this num can be whatever uh, name you want, but this basically represents the enumerate function. And so now when we go ahead and run this, you can see that it gave us the same results as the previous example. And this one is a lot easier to use, especially if you're going to have various counters uh, in your code. So it would just be easier to, to use enumerate. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you very much.